Identity 5? Angels of Death! Identity 5? Angels of Death! Identity 5 and Angels of Death! Are you ready for another crossover? Right now we have the ongoing Link Click crossover. Later this year we will have a Bongo Stray Dogs crossover. And now two more. The Project Zero 2 and Angels of Death crossover. So let's check out the possible crossover contents. Starting with the two main characters of the show and therefore most likely the S tier skins. Rachel Ray Gardner and Isaac Zack Foster. To shortly summarize the plot of Angels of Death. It's about Ray, a young girl that wakes up in a building with several floors that have different serial killers on them. One of them being Zack, who wants to escape the building and therefore forms a pact with Ray. If she helps him to escape the building, he will end her life by her request. With this background story, it leads me to believe that this could be a perfect skin combination for the Gardener and the Ripper. And not only because Rachel Ray's last name is Gardener and Zack carries around the same weapon as the Ripper. No, because Identity 5 has created this weird relationship between the Gardener and the Ripper, as we have seen in older ads, where the Ripper and the Gardeners are main characters that kind of work together? contrary to what the game is actually about. But besides the gardener, I also think that the little girl would be a good fit for Ray, since they look very similar. Or the coordinator, since Ray shot Kathy, another serial killer from the show with a gun. And last but not least, since Ray and Zack work together, we could see a psychologist and patient skin combination. Besides the patient and the ripper that could get the skin of Zack, I could also imagine the mercenary, Purely because the hoodie that Zack wears has a lot of similarities with the mercenary's wardrobe. But in the end I have to say that I strongly believe that Zack will turn into a skin for the Ripper. Because he is a killer in the show and it only makes sense for him to come as skin for a hunter. Now since the crossover will only come with one S tier skin. It's highly likely that that skin will go to Zack, since he is the only character that was actually shown in the trailer of the first Identity 5 and Angels of Death crossover. Talking about that specific trailer, we also saw four more characters that might come to Identity 5 in form of a skin, all of them being serial killers from different floors. The first one being Catherine Katie Ward. She creates punishments for her prisoners relating to their past crimes and has a special interest in Zack since he is a serial killer himself and he has a massive amount of sins under his belt. She would be a great character skin for one of the newest hunters, the clerk, since she is judging her victims and punishes them depending on their crimes, just like a judge would do. Edward Eddie Manson is a pumpkin mask grave digger who creates graves for his future victims and wants to be the one who brings Ray under the earth. He could be a great fit for the X-Boy, purely because they look very similar. He could also be a skin for the Gravekeeper since his profession would fit quite well. But I strongly believe that if Eddie comes to the game as a skin, it would be for the X-Boy. Next up we have Daniel Danny Dickens, a counselor who has only one eye. And he has a weird obsession with eyes, he wants to collect Ray's eyes. He could be somewhat of a fit for the evil reptilian, because with the long tongue and the white coat that he is wearing, he reminds me of a skin that is already in the game, the crystalline skin for the evil reptilian. And last but not least, the trailer shows us another picture with Abraham Gray, who is a pastor whose sole purpose is to judge a person based on their true self. When it comes to this character, it is also a little bit more difficult to find a fitting hunter. He could be the photographer who carries a bible instead of a picture and who catches the true form of the survivors in the picture world. Or possibly the undead, since I think that character could look the best as Kray. What's also interesting about this crossover is that there are so many characters that could come in question for hunter skins, mainly because most characters of the show are killers. And if this crossover only brings the two main characters, Rachel and Zack, this could turn into another shop exclusive crossover, like we have it right now with the Link Click crossover. But if more skins from the anime make it into the game, we can expect a normal crossover essence like we have seen it with previous crossovers. So what are your thoughts on the upcoming Angels of Death crossover and which characters would you love to see in the game? Let us know in the comment sections below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a fat like 
And of course, if you are new and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to The Gaming Grizzly. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!